Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. All right, welcome back and happy Wednesday morning. Hopefully your morning is going well so far. Now I'm sure some of you may have heard some rain coming down a few hours ago, but for the last hour or two, we've pretty much been drier here in Baton Rouge. Now we still have partly to mostly cloudy skies at this time, but we are seeing some sunshine trying to peek out from behind the clouds. So we do have that nice pretty view right there on our sky cam. But now moving forward, here's a look at what's going on. So Barrow became a post tropical cyclone yesterday morning. That was at 10 a.m. Central time update from the National Hurricane Center. So we're still seeing those remnants of Barrow bringing some showers and thunderstorms to parts of the Midwest. And again, the remnants of Barrow are pretty much still pulling away from our area, but most of that had already occurred on yesterday. So this morning we do still have some showers and thunderstorms along the coast. Again, we had some rain in our area earlier this morning, more so during the overnight hours, but seeing that activity still pushing through Thibodeau, Homa, Golden Meadow, and also just south of Jean Lafitte. Now, now our current temperatures are at 77 in Thibodeau, 78 here in Baton Rouge, and 73 in Macomb, 80 in Morgan City. And our dew points are mainly in the mid and upper 70s, but we're seeing a dew point of 68 for Macomb and a dew point of 53 for Bogalusa. So again, they're dealing with some drier air pushing into their area over that way, and we can also see that on water vapor. So again, shower and thunderstorm activity along the coast, more moisture present, and also seeing some drier air trying to filter into our region this morning. And this will be continuing pretty much throughout our Wednesday. So our rain chance will be increasing a tad bit heading into the afternoon hours, and we should end up staying mostly dry through the end of the morning with the exception of maybe an isolated shower or two here in the Baton Rouge area. But our highs will be in the low and mid 90s. Heat index values will be around 100 to 105. So again, we'll have this weak cold front trying to move south. We'll still have some drier air trying to filter in with it. And as I've been mentioning throughout the morning, that could help it to feel not so so humid today. It'll still be humid, but not just unbearable, and it could also help to limit how much rain we get for today. So again, not saying we'll have a dry Wednesday, but we could still have some scattered showers this afternoon, but most of the rain activity may stay along the coast, and we should see that occurring throughout the day. But again, into the afternoon, some scattered showers trying to move through here in the Baton Rouge area. Then as we head into this evening, we'll have this stationary front set up in place. We'll see a little bit more moisture trying to push up from the south with southerly wind flow returning into our area. Over Overnight lows will be in the mid and upper 70s. Thursday's highs in the low and mid 90s with heat index values around 100 to 105. Thursday morning, mostly dry for us with the exception of isolated showers. But again, most of the rain should be along the coast. Then by Thursday afternoon, more rain farther inland where we are. And then the showers gradually clearing out as we head into your Thursday evening. So rain chances are still around 20 to 30 percent over the next two days and really continuing through next week. Our estimated rainfall amounts around one one inch for the Baton Rouge area, about two inches for our coastal parishes, and then seeing about half of an inch for the Florida parishes and our southwest Mississippi counties. So again, over the next week, we'll still just have that usual pattern with highs in the low and mid 90s, showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon hours, what we uh, what we experience during the summertime, and overnight lows will be in the mid and upper 70s. But